Today is going to be quite a bit different to my normal episode as you might be able to tell already with me starting at the start screen here and that is because I have been ill with the the dreaded man flu uh, and a slight chest infection and yeah, uh, last week I could barely speak, this week I can speak although I still have been basically sleeping when I can uh, instead of editing when I can So, I thought instead of basically delaying this episode for another week, I would bring to you a a kind of live, a live experience of of an episode. This is what it would be kind of like if you were watching a live stream of me, which I haven't done in months. Uh, So yeah, please bear with me. Uh, Normal, normal episodes will, will hopefully start by next week again and it'll be all edited and all the all the stuff I like to try and do but yeah this one will be a live experience so you'll hear mouse clicks and me coughing or sneezing or whatever um yeah so let's get to it so it is now the 20th of the 6th 2004 and we're well into the pre-season we we are about a month away maybe a month yeah we're about we're yeah, a month away, uh, over a month away from the kickoff to our season um, in the Premier Division, which is going to be a lot of fun. And some of you might be able to tell already, I've, there's quite a new faces, quite a few new faces in this squad. So first things first, let's get to that actually, yeah, because I signed them all at the end of last season, it counts as last season's signings. So, oh, well, there's one player that went out, I will get to that actually. So, end of last season, players in, who did I buy or get in a free transfer even for the majority of them? So, uh, in the last video I did cover that Mark Phillips I signed, he was a loan signing and I decided, yeah, he's good enough, 70,000, I'll have him. Uh, the free transfers I picked up all, all within the same few days of each other. Let's start with Anders Hasselgaard, great name, a forward right centre. And yeah, pretty good. I like I like fast players. Do I do like my fast players? Fast and strong, excellent. And he will be playing just in behind the main striker. Ooh, a hint to maybe maybe a change in tactics. So yeah, got him doing my usual free transfer thing at the end of the season. Loads of really you know good quality players, mainly Scandinavian actually. Uh, become free or very cheap on like relegation clauses or minimum fee clauses at the end of every season. So definitely have those leagues running in the background. Paul O'Callaghan, a defender right left, is nothing too special. I will be honest, he's not brilliant, but he can play left or right back. He was free. Uh, I needed a backup really, and he will probably serve just as that a backup. That's, that's kind of strange. He's 27 years old, but he's just appeared in the game. Very odd. I wonder if he's some sort of weird regen that doesn't start as a youth player. It's kind of strange. If if you know what's happening now, please let me know. Scott Walker, the, the, the person on the other screen you might have seen there. He's now playing at Dundee. Yes. Right, so I'll explain this. Got him on a Bosman, so he was uh, near the end of his contract, only had like three months left and offered him a contract and it was usual, the usual contract ch- trick that I've been doing that you all know about, I won't get into. So I signed him and as soon as he appeared, first day of training, he went, nah, this, this isn't for me. And just within a few days signed for Dundee and because he wouldn't sign a new contract, there was a rolling contract he was on, he was free to leave for nothing. So I wasted a signing on fee which I think was about 80,000. So I wasted 80,000 uh, uh, signing on fee on him and he left. Anyway, next, Zico Tumba. Zico Tumba here is a very strong uh, forward center, like a striker centre and yeah you might be thinking, hey Democratic Republic, that's that's not a European nation, how, how did you sign him? Well he's actually Site nationality French. 
which a lot of African players do have the second national with French in the colonies and all that. And yeah, I am very happy about this. He was free transfer. He was let, he, he played for NEC, although actually he didn't technically play for them, never ever appearing for them. But I'm hoping he can do a job. Tommy Mooney. Tommy Mooney, uh, yeah, this player takes me back, actually. And I could be wrong about this, but I'm fairly sure it is the same player. When I used to play Sensible World of Soccer, I used to sign a player I'm fairly sure was called Tommy Mooney. And I'm fairly sure did play for Watford around that time, 96, 97, yeah. And he was amazing. He was brilliant. So his name caught my eye straight away in the free transfer list. And I thought, yeah, he's 32. He's taken up a decent wage, to be honest. But he's got the he's got good stats in all the right areas, really. He's still I think he can still do a job for at least one more season. He'll be you know I don't want to fill my team with too many young players, but yeah I think I think he could be good for us. He's still got a decent amount of acceleration and pace as well, and forward left center. Hmm, maybe play him in behind the forward. Another another uh, hint towards the. The new tactic. Fernando D'Amico. Great name. An Argentinian slash Italian. Yes, give us some of that Latin spirit in midfield. Defender, midfielder, centre. And yeah, great, great player. Free transfer. He was playing for Lille and didn't renew his contract. He was just sitting there on the free transfer list. So yeah, I'll have him. Thank you very much. Glenn Hancock, the player I had on loan last season, and I signed him up. Yeah, he done a decent turn for us, and decent stats. Stats in all the right places for a central defender. Still quite young, and he cost us 30000 Nothing at all. Magnus Kilberg. That is a stupendous name. Uh, he is a midfielder centre, 30 years old, and... Yes, brilliant player by the looks of things. I'm hoping he can obviously turn those attributes to something on the park that will be uh, quality to watch. And I'm, I'm just looking at his average rating in the past two seasons. Yes, I think he could be one of our best players this coming season. Can't wait to see him in action. Got him free, of course, as well. <sighs> Shaka Hislop. Now, a lot of you might have just jumped to the bottom of the list and caught, he might have caught your eye straight away. And I wouldn't blame you. But, Shaka here, he was going to be my replacement for, uh, oh Christ, what was his name? Do, 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 do. He was going to be my place uh, replacement for Simon Royce. Yeah, uh, spoilers there for the players out. And he came, he saw, and he left. This time not even signing for another club, he just went, nope. So, yeah, got my new Bosman, similar, similar to the other player, yeah, and he went, nah. But I'm offering him another contract, because weirdly enough, when I, pl- I offered him a contract when he was at a club, so he plays a l- little bit harder to get, because he's already at a club, even though he's leaving, and now that he's a free transfer, even though he was at my club and left, He's a wee bit easier to get, so I've offered him a new contract again and he wants less and yeah, uh, it's strange. I don't know if I will get him, we'll find out shortly I guess, but yeah, might might still get him, if not, oh well, I'll need to look for another goalkeeper. Pal Hoopy Soli. Now, some of you might already know of this player and my phone just vibrated. I thought I put it on silent. God damn it, bear with me. Yes, uh, this is the type of stuff you have to deal with when I'm doing it live, and not editing, and... Ugh. Right, silent. Thank you. And I've paid 325000 for him, which is a lot for me, really. He is a great central defender. 24 years old, and look at those stats. Yes. Brilliant. Very happy with the signing. And the reason I had to pay 325000 is because he had a minimum fee release clause. And, yeah, uh, I'm offering him a new contract, doing the usual contract trick. 
although it looks like it's going to go through no bother I hope touch on wood and yeah hoping to build the set the base the central defence around him right players out right at the end of the season right where were we players out who did you see who did you see who did we last leave off on I think it might have been right we'll just start with Skrekas anyway Skrekas to Ipswich yeah, I think you already seen that in another video, 475,000 was his minimum fee. Adam Davis was one of our youngsters, Motherwell. Motherwell love coming in for our players, so yeah, 100,000, why not? Uh, Simon Royce, obviously, leaving at the end of the season. he done a good turn for us, but yeah, I'll, I'll take. Even though I, I've lost over a, a space of a season, I did lose money, but... Yeah, that would have just been... Uh, that was a panic buy. 425000 is not what I really would have paid for him, really. But I just had no other choice, it seemed. Right, so, uh, yeah. Goodbye to Simon Royce. Jay Dennis, one of our youngsters, who plays pretty well every time we put him on, actually. Now that I look back on it, I very rarely used him, but he yeah, seemed pretty decent. Um, midfielder centre, away to Dundee United for 250000 uh, just one of our youth players who we sold, uh, didn't sell, sorry, they signed and didn't sell, yeah that does happen, yeah, and when I'm signing all these youth players to sell them on, some of them do not sell. Polios, gutted that he's away, and hopefully this won't be happening too often now because, uh, I can't remember who it was, somebody left a comment about minimum fees, by the way, you can just offer non, a non uh Non-promotion and a relegation clause instead, and they usually accept. He had a minimum fee, and Celtic came in for him, bang on the minimum fee, 475000 Couldn't even negotiate to make them stupidly offer like a million. So I'm really, really sad to see Polios go. Then we had Piri leaving. Hearts coming in for 475000 as well. And Piri is away to Hearts. We'll be, we'll be facing quite a few of our own players, actually, this season. As the, clearly the bigger teams are a bit worried about us and try to sign all our best players. So that's annoying. I need I need another left-back. Because Magnus Johansson is getting on in the years. And he's a bit sketchy when it comes to, you know, the big games. Patrick Suffo. He is away. Now, I've got... The other player in the strong forward, so Suffolk really, really, I think would have been good enough for the SPL, but they met his minimum fee of four hundred and fifty thousand Firenze. Firenze, I don't even know who that is. Portuguese league, okay. Uh, and yeah, sees away, sadly. But again, he had. Very good innings for us. They done very well for us. Very happy. And then Shaka his lop left. Yeah. Right. Where to next? Well, a lot of you might be clamouring. Has 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 the stadium been upgraded? Yes. Yes, it has. And let's get to that now. We are now in a eleven thousand three hundred fifty-two all-seated stadium with a training ground that is just adequate. Yeah, uh, I guess I should be happy it's even adequate, to be honest. We're still semi-professional. The annoying thing about Champman, the older games, and right up until uh, maybe FM like 2007 or 8 or something, the, a semi-professional team, the status doesn't change, even if you're playing the top flight in like Champions League or whatever. You're still semi-professional, which makes no sense. Right, how much did that cost us, though? It cost a whopping 9.19 million to upgrade the stadium and the training facilities. I wasn't expecting this. I think I might have thrown out a number of 10 million in some of the earlier videos thinking, no, that can't be right. I think it's about 7.5. Seven and, and I was thinking, 7.5 is me playing it safe. Like, as in, that'll be the max amount. 9.19? That is quite annoying. That's, uh, and then dividends get paid out, yeah, uh, it's basically what, shareholders or something, I don't know, where's that 1.9 million went to? Anywho, 
Let's see the overall finances we are sitting at now and that is 2.85 million with transfer funds of 2.7. So not all bad really. For a Scottish team to be sitting in the green with a couple of million, almost 3 million, isn't too bad. It's pretty good. I shouldn't I shouldn't really be moaning, but it just feels uh nine nine point one uh Ah, uh, right. Uh, where to next? Da, da, da. Yeah, um, some of you are wanting to know about last season, about like uh, our players, like some of the top goal scorers so far and all that. And I was going to do a whole thing, like a whole video, like, you no, know, do you remember pre-season last season? I'd done a whole, like, whoa, how, how far we've come uh, so far? Like, won this trophy, oh, we beat Rangers, blah, blah, blah. And I was going to do the exact same thing, updating it every year and... Uh, yeah, uh, because yeah, this video is going the way it's going right now. Uh, instead, I th uh, yeah, not doing that. So it, it doesn't work like FM. I can't just go back. So right, say I go to first division, and you would think, well, usually in it, football manager, there's a history thing, and you can go like click, and it will what like, you can select the year, and it'll show you the league standings and all that. You can't do that. In this, at least I can't find a way to do that. So uh, the most I can really do is click on history and see. Oh yeah, I, I won it that season. That there, yeah, that, that's right. Uh, most team goals. Oh yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's that's about right. Most team points. I don't really know. Is that the points I finished on? It must have been. Uh, worst team discipline. I'm sure that won't be there. Oh, you motherwell. Players. Top goal scorer last season was Barbosa with 18 goals, but um. Yeah, last season, I think Barbosa, along with Ficari, was like our best player, or players even. So we'll just have a quick look at them. You can see their stats. Uh, where is Ficari? Ficari's actually getting sold. So yes, he's in the middle of, uh, yeah, he's actually he's leaving for 500,000. He has transfer listed because I want to make sure he accepted the, the contract. He was unsettled and all that. Yeah, Vicari, great season last season, and you'd be thinking, why are you selling one of your best, if not the best player of last season? Well, welcome to the new tactic. Yes, this is what I'm going with this coming season. And it's a bit strange when compared to the 4-4-2. Although, most people, straight away when I started doing these videos, were like, oh, play with a centralised tactic, that's what works, and yes, obviously it does. And I think... The the, the I, I've got the iodine CF standard right, uh, and I have the iodine CF info twisted logic processor. I think it's the full name of the tactic. And apparently, this is a, a, a tweaked, slightly better version of the iodine CF. Iodine CF is one of the uh, best tactics. Apparently, going with forums and stuff that you can play with. So it means I have to get rid of my wingers. And thankfully, most of my wingers could play in the centre of midfield, in the attacking mid row or whatever, like Barbosa. But Vicari cannot. He is a right mid only. So, sadly, he has to leave. Yep, a sacrifice. And will I end up regretting this by the end of the season? I hope not. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting this tactic to do as well as the 4 4 2 to Pani. I hope. I'm, I'm hoping I won't regret this, uh, but I felt it was time for a change. Just change things up a bit. Keep it fast and loose. Have the other teams guessing what I'm going to play. That That's that's what I'm kind of going with. It's like, oh, Celtic will now come up against me and go, wait, wait, what, what is he playing? So, yeah. So, it's the same back four, though. So I like playing with a back four. I used to love playing with uh, three central defenders in the, the Chapman games back back when I was younger, playing them when they were the current release of football manage management games. But nowadays, they're definitely a back four with a DM. I like that. So, yeah, we'll see that shortly. Which reminds me, actually, I need to make friendlies and this time make friendlies against decent-ish sides because I want to test out this tactic. So let's go with. Hmm. Is it. 
I was hoping to get, can I, oh yeah, 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 I select it here, I was hoping to get some English League teams, mm, could I maybe get the likes of like Birmingham and stuff to, to appear? I don't know. See, it's a bit annoying, uh, I, I do prefer the way it works in the Football manager, uh, manager games, where it just shows you a, what, a small select of teams who are available and will play on that day. So I'll just invite a few first division teams, I think. Uh, I don't know if I've got a lot of cup games then. I doubt it. I'm in the SPL now. I shouldn't have early first round cup games, surely. Surely. Right, another one. Da, da, da. Blackpool. Did I invite them or was it Bradford? Nope. Right. Friendly's hopefully sorted. I still have to sort out my team, so let's actually go through the team. Yeah, uh, and if you're still watching right now, then good on you. Because I, I don't expect anyone to really enjoy this. They'll be going, what, what, why am I watching this? Where's, where's, the, where's the editing? I don't want to hear you drivel on non-stop. So Kasper Ibsen, I think he's actually slightly improved from last season. He looks pretty decent. He would see if he had slightly better reflexes. See, even if that was about four, like 13, 14, he'd be my first choice. Everything else is good enough. Apparently it's, it's, it's good having a strong goalkeeper. I, I don't really know, I don't remember reading that somewhere. So that could be doing with a wee bit better, I guess, but he's only 19. Only 19 years old. Vouch. Yes, he's still kicking around. He is wanted right now and he is a decent player. I'll keep him around, but if I get 450,000 for him, eh, whatever. I have quite an abundance of midfielders right now. Wayne Carlyle. Our fullback, um, yeah, his stats aren't looking too great at the moment, but he plays very well. Played very well last season, actually. So I'll keep him around. Johnson, yeah, he's still pace. His acceleration and pace could be doing better for a fullback, but he's decent. He do, it does a decent turn in the fullback position. O'Callaghan, we've already seen. Ah, uh, Magnus Johansson. He is good. He is a good player, to be honest. He just blew it. He absolutely blew it against Atletico Madrid for us. But apart from that, he's been a good wee player, but he's getting on in years. Glenn Hancock, we've covered. Uh, Matt Haywood, yeah, we've had... Uh, how long now? Yeah, we had him last season. We bought him last season. Uh, decent, yeah. Uh, it's Matt Abuena. I think Matt Abuena will be going out the door. He's good. Yeah, he's actually very good stats, but he doesn't play that well. He just, yeah, seven, seven's good, right? Don't get me wrong, a seven is a good number, but you seen how we were playing last season, right? And he wasn't featuring in any of the tougher games, and he only got a seven. Uh, yeah, I think I'll, I'll be selling him. Mark Phillips, yeah, still good. Uh, we've seen Hoopie, brilliant. Whitley. Whose stats are still very good. I like this player. And yeah, played well last season. Although he did pick up quite a few uh, red cards. Uh, we've seen D'Amico. Millie. I just like saying his name. Uh, he's wanted by Dundee United. Played very well last season. Uh, 475,000. Yeah. Again, I've got so many midfielders that... I don't really mind losing one or two, it makes it easier. Yeah, I hate having too big of a squad, although I will need quite a big squad. Vicari, sad to see you leaving, buddy. Kilberg, what a name. Brilliant name, I can't wait to see him play, actually. Barbosa, our main man last season, I think he'll be playing in behind the forward. I think he'll be the first choice in behind the forward with... Maybe actually Fabrini. I can't, I mean, I forgot all about Fabrini, actually. He played very well last season. Yeah. Hasselgaard, thought I'd check it out. Mooney's the same. Chris Fraser, our youngster from last season, he's, he seems to be blooming well. Uh, had a fairly decent last season. Yeah, he'd done alright, and hopefully, yeah, get better for us. Daniel Barlow, the same. Seems to be coming on quite well. Decent youngster. And uh, he'd actually have very good. It was more so an end of season last season. He really came on to that game. More of the same this season, please. Smart. 
Boo, boo this man. Yeah, I'm just wanting rid of him and nobody wants him. His stats are great. Don't get me wrong, look at his stats. He looks like he's a first choice player every day of the week. He just doesn't play a little one. That's poor. Considering we were battering teams last season in the league, that is a really poor return for our forward. Especially a forward that looks that. I think it more so frustrates me because his stats are that good. That and he keeps getting bloody injured. And Zico Tumba rounding off our team, our basic replacement for... Uh, oh Christ, I've forgotten his name already. Where where did you go? Uh, Suffo. <laughs> yeah, I'm on a lot of tablets. That's my excuse. I've got a lot, a load of cold and flu tablets. So that yeah, that's why I'm blaming the forgetfulness on. And is there anything else? Will we continue on? Just quick continue and find out. Do I need to get anything? Actually, we'll quick continue and make our way through a couple of screens. Maybe at least. What's this? I was playing this. Uh the other night without recording just because it, the pre-season I don't usually record until I'm nearing the, the, the coming season he is very good uh, oh it's 425,000 release clause that's why I'm bidding for him and he could solve my left back problem but he rejects to come yeah that will happen a lot I'm a semi I'm a semi-professional team in Scotland this is a problem about having that status a lot of players just outright refu refuse to even negotiate. Uh, who are you? Nobody wants him. He looks alright as well. Nobody wants him. No, I'm not giving him a contract, so yeah, whatever. Who is starter game So, so Dundee United away, Inverness at home, and then Kilmarnock away. Not exactly the most exciting of games to start the season, but whatever. Friendlies have all been accepted. And we are in the UEFA Cup again. Look at all those Scottish teams in, like, Europe. Remember those days, people? When Scottish teams were in Europe? And not getting embarrassed in Europe? <sighs> right, I think it will actually be updating shortly. Is there not, like, an update thing that will be happening? Lee Anderson I was going in for? Yeah, I scout the Swedish league and just offer for anyone on what a minimum fee that's good yeah obviously it's very good but a lot of the time they just outright reject yeah it's better getting them see when they're a free transfer where yeah when they're absolutely free they get a wee bit more desperate and they will speak to me so let's just see let's go with the do, 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 do. Well, let's what goalkeeping Check, which means I don't think he qualifies for a European contract thing. So no, I don't think I'll be able to get him. Uh, he's not very good. There's Shaka Hislopsy. There's uh, Shaka in the list there. Uh, hopefully he's desperate enough to sign for us and stay this time. Um, is there anyone else really catch my... I did do all this actually the other day. I do all my scouting because I spend a lot of time. He's still a decent wee player, uh, Seri Hughes. Kerry Hughes, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, so I won't bore you with that because I, once I'm in that zone, I will just sit for at least half an hour just clicking through <laughs> players. That's, that's how I find a lot of my players. He is rubbish. Why am I getting told about him? So let us know how you how you you find this this weird live experiment that I'm doing at the moment this uncut experiment. Gasparoni, he is an amazing player. I seen him maybe two seasons ago. I didn't really I didn't feature him in the videos because it was somebody I was keeping my eye on. And I was hoping it'd be a nice wee surprise to get him, but I couldn't get him. Yeah, you need to be. You can get him. See if you're a decent team and at the start. Pick him up. So it's Christian Gasparoni, right? Because this is what he turns into, and he only gets better from there. Yeah. Oh, Tony Adams has been offered. Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna counter their offer for a part-time contract. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna accept their contract. Why wouldn't he? 
Right, Shaka has stopped signing for us again. <sighs> Will you accept a new contract, Shaka? Will you? Come on, you'll just save me a whole lot of bother if you do. Oh, I thought it was going to update now. No, it wouldn't seem quite long. Right, off a new contract. He apparently wants to sign. 1500s, oh, I can offer. Let's, let's bump that up to 10 then. Oh, it doesn't want minimum fee or anything. Right, please accept that, Shaka, because you'd be doing me a huge favour, mate. Uh, Steve Thompson, didn't we have him uh, on loan at one point? We did. My god, he has really regressed as a player. He's only 26. I'm sure he was better than better stats than that when he played for us. My god. Hmm. European Football Championship going on at the moment. Who won it in real life? Anyone remember? Who won Euro 2004? Can't think at all. That's uh, Hoopie signed a new contract for us. Rangers getting written off for challenge to SPL. Hey, right, right about the Boldy Sterling. I actually got um, a message from the board saying that uh, they expect us to battle bravely against relegation this season. Pfft. They doubt me. They doubt my abilities. Pad Padelidis. Padelidis? Uh, yeah, is another player that I've seen in the Greek under-21s. And, yeah, just look at him. Amazing. Wait, did was somebody offered 675,000? Uh, I'll try. I will try. So let's... Uh, six... Let's go with 700,000 over the span of... Let's just be a bit cheeky and offer all this nonsense as well. Oh yeah, Hernies. I was trying to get him. I actually did have the choice to sign him, but the closer I looked, because I no longer play with a winger. If I was still playing with a winger, I think he'd been a, a decent signing. But then I was thinking, oh, I'll sign him a full back role over the right back role. But then I was looking and going, no, his tackling's terrible. His passing's not great either, which is really what I want from my full backs. So yeah, I just let it go. So now Hearts are signing him. I hope he does not come back to bite us in the bum when we face it off against Hearts. This episode's actually going to run quite long. Will I leave it all on cut? I don't know. You'll, you'll find out, I guess. Um, but I'm just looking at the time there on my recording software and it's 33 minutes. Although it will be slightly cut down, I think, for yourselves. Maybe about 32 minutes. <laughs> How much is it worth now, actually, I wonder? 2.6 million? My god. He was never going to be worth that if he moved to me. Uh, yes. Another Bain. I will keep going on about this. Being semi-professional, semi if I can speak, uh, being semi-pro means that even when we sign players who in their true values just never get reflected, it's just always, always so low. Um. He's alright. Oh, Adam signed a new contract with us. I'm going to cough for a bit, so I'm, it's just going silent. <coughs> I think I just blew my speaker. Or my microphone, even. Well, they accepted the contract. Let's see if we can actually sign him. Uh, no interest, but that's never stopped us before. Let's offer him 50,000. You will sign for us, sir. And then probably leave after day one. Yeah. Nothing exciting happening there. Hmm. I think I will try and sign you. You could maybe sort out my left back situation. Two 
do I have a right back situation? Who is my right back again? So I've got Wayne Carlyle, Johnson, or possibly a Callahan. I've just got too many. He will be better right enough, but uh, nah, I'll leave it. Ooh, he'll be a lot better. Let's see if I can sign him. I doubt it, but yeah, yeah I think it's going to be a lot tougher convincing this person to come to us. Odo. Hey, Shaka Hislop signed. It's so, alright. The new first choice goalkeeper, Shaka, at 35. I know I, I let go of Royce only at 32 and sign Shaka at 35, but Shaka's got a wee bit more pedigree about him, just slightly back back there. N not there. Right, continue onwards into July, hopefully. Come on, game. Who? Who's this? When did I sign him? <laughs> Why have I got so many fullbacks now? Ah. <sighs> yeah, don't play games when you're you've got the flu because you can't remember making stupid bloody Bosman signings. Who is this? I can't remember making this signing. All right. Um. Let's vicari away. Oh my goodness, we are actually getting him. Please let him sign a new contract. He is amazing. Come on. Yeah, the load times haven't really increased greatly. <laughs> because this is emulating, I think it's kind of emulating like it is a Windows XP uh, system and isn't using obviously my full like processing power, which is an i7 by the way, or my RAM, which is 16 gigs of RAM. Yeah, just showing my e-penis there. Right, will we sign a new contract is the big question, and by the looks of things he might. Oh, I still want some L V. Uh, no, I don't want it. See, because I don't have the two things to offer now. Yeah, fuck it, I'll offer him uh, goal bonuses as well. Try and sweeten the deal. A bit of a tough. Demarcus Beasley. He's very good. Stop saying that Alan Smart's a valuable player. He's not. I'm not playing him. <laughs> uh, auto rejects. He'll just keep rejecting. I, I'm. Full of full backs at the moment, um. So I'm signing him as yeah my left, and then I'll start the clear out. Right. Once I've got the players in, that I think will formulate the team in the coming season. I'll start clearing out the players that generally won't won't get anywhere near even second choice. So I'll start doing that shortly. Oh the excitement! See, this is what I think. This is what how. LPs usually work, isn't it, of this game? I haven't actually seen any, but I can only imagine it's just similar to football management LPs. It's just somebody clicking through screens and babbling on. If you enjoy that person, however, it can be entertaining, but it still can be kind of tiresome. Uh, just off you. I'm throwing a lot of money at this player, but yeah, I want him to sign. Babangida. He'd be a great pickup if I was playing with wingers, which I'm not. I was confused there for a second. I was like, Zamboni, is that one of my players? <laughs> Did Fermlin, will you pee off? You know what? I've got three scouts, including um, Tony Adams. He's not even doing anything at the moment, so, you know, screw I'm making money. How am I make? Have I been selling player? How have I made money? It can't be. Uh, player sold. It must have been yeah. Surprising to me. Nope. I've already made my friendlies trying me. You're too late. It'd be lovely having the option, just having your assistant manager sort out the 
the friendlies for you, but that won't come into this game until, well, I don't know, Chapman 4 or something, maybe. <sighs> See, it's because of the minimum fee thing. This is the problem. And minimum fee of that amount, even, like, it's too little. I'm not letting you go for that, so let's get, let's just try and bribe you another way, because I want to have the choice, or the amount choice I'd just hate, because I, I'm losing too many players through that minimum fee, but it's difficult getting them to accept the contract without the minimum fee. Uh, see, Grondon rejecting now. Okay. Right, you can have a minimum fee of 950. Hopefully that'll keep him happy. That's Adams awaited on Fernland as a scout, I think. I don't know. They can do whatever with him. I'm I'm bored. Bored of him. Yeah, as a scout. Right, our first friendly. Let's see how this new tactic does. Um I'm kind of excited. I don't know how it will play. Who am I playing as left back? Uh, well, actually, I should take note of the fitness levels because some of them are still very tired. Oh, good God, who's going to be my right back? So, probably Jonsson's. Oh, Jonsson's acceleration's improved. Good on you. Uh, centre backs. Oh, Matabuena's no, no, Matabu no longer wanted that oh, well. So, centre backs, obviously. Who pay? And I think, yeah, maybe Haywood. I think Haywood would probably be. It's between Haywood or Phillips. Mm, yeah, we'll go with Phillips. See, this is the stuff that usually gets cut out. So, at the very least, if you've, again, watched this far, you'd be kind of, you know, this, this is you doing, you're just seeing how... How boring it is. <laughs> right, D'Amico as DM. Oh, for, I, I, I'm, I was looking for wingers there. Uh, yeah, no. So it's uh, mid left centre and mid right centre. So we'll go with Kilberg and Whitley. And behind the forward, we'll go with Barbosa and Hasselgaard, the now. Yeah. Somebody wants smart. Grimsby, Grimsby, you fools, please make an offer. And Zico, so, okay, let's go with that then. Ah, oh, I hate not having 12 subs, <laughs> having to choose. Uh, oh, what am I thinking, why am I not playing Padella, Padella God damn your name. Yep. And Felch will go with. Right, let's see how we get on. And we've got a goal already for Birmingham. Not a great start. Although, you know, it's it's friendly, so whatever, and they're adjusting to a new tactic, yeah, I'm making excuses. But I'm just generally see how it plays, if we're, like, dominating play or, or what, before I hit the panic button and, and go back to the 4-4-2. <laughs> We've got a goal, Tumba. Tumba scoring. Eh. See, you know, we're down equally. I mean, Birmingham, I'm, I'm sure, are a decent side. They're in the first division, or what would now be called the Championship in England. 618 at the game. Brilliant. Tumba with a second goal there before half time. Makes up shortly. Usually like to leave it the 60 minute mark. Benitez scoring, is that Christian? Uh, no Christian, Benitez. Miguel, Miguel Benitez. I'm thinking of the football manager games, uh, manager games with uh, Christian Benitez and they just scored a third there. You bastards. 
Right. Just make subs, whatever. Throw on everyone. Also, where are you? Minute, yeah. Um. There we go. Who's everyone? Give everyone some game time. So I'm not too worried about the results of the friendlies, it's just about how we play. It's three each now, but the looks of things we've got plenty of goals in this tactic, although the defending could be better, but again that could be down to brand new players getting thrown into a team together and being their first game together. So yeah. And I'm just looking at the time of this episode. Right, for those of you who have stuck around till the end here, which is it's going to be then, because that's 40, 40 odd minutes and I don't want it going just absurdly long. For those of you who enjoy a long episode then, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you give me some leeway uh, with this episode. I'm not happy about it, believe me, I'm not happy about it. I don't, I like editing, it's fun, or at least it can be fun and when, when you get into a groove and get things the way you like it. This episode is not going to be that type of episode. Next week it shall be back to normal, but I thought this is more of an update episode. So, yeah. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Bye!